morning, everybody, and welcome again to our Coffee with Conti show on our Corvette only YouTube channel. You guys stay back over there. My eyes are probably bloodshot, and that's all right. I'm going to spend most of today's episode behind the camera talking with you guys, as you probably know from my teaser on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, but real quick, let me share with you a surprise visit that I didn't capture. But we talked about it just recently. Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this segment of the vlog that I had hoped to share with you a surprise visit from Vancouver, Washington. Well, when they first got to the dealership, I was out of the store at my daughter's school event. I got to the store, saw them in passing for a second, <laughs> if that. I had a client in my office, the phone's blown up, but they were, they were coming back from the National Corvette Caravan, going back to Washington State. Got an oil change done, wanted to beat us from the vlog. That meant so much. I didn't get a chance to really spend any quality time with them. So when I got done with the client that was in my office, I know they were still here, so I went running through the dealership, and this would have been something to capture in the vlog, of seeing me literally running through the lot. They were pulling out of service as I finally got back there, and their car's going out to the street, and I'm running through the lot. I knew it was them. Yeah, I mean, you saw the Washington State plate, but they had one of those big antenna thingies on the back of the car, so yeah, that, that's part of the caravan. It's like, oh, that's gotta be them. I was hoping they would get caught at the light, and they didn't. I was gonna stop them, just wanted to say hi and thanks again. So they, they got out of here before we really got a chance to really talk. So I called him on the phone, thank goodness he left his phone number, called him on the phone and said, hey, thanks for stopping. And they actually left this for me. Uh, so that's why I at least want to talk about the surprise visit rather than share it with you. So Ken and Barb from Vancouver, Washington brought me, isn't this really cool guys? Look at that. <laughs> this is really neat. Oh my gosh, this is great. Thanks again, you guys, for being here on the channel. And thank you again, Ken and Barb, for stopping by. I really appreciate that. Now, that was pretty cool. A surprise visit I wasn't able to capture, but glad that I was able to talk about it. And it really means a lot that they went out of their way to come here to see us. Some great people on this channel. As a matter of fact, today's episode comes as request from many of you that watch the channel. We'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, some things going on with C8 2020 Mini Engine Corvette are changing from the video we did what, a couple few weeks ago talking about distribution. I drew that big blue board and you know, order pulled here, 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 and they come here, da, da, da. That's changing just a little bit. So we're gonna get into that in detail this coming week because we need to, because this coming week is when uh, some of the first allocations start releasing from our computer system to GM production control. Now, production doesn't start until December, but you've gotta give them orders to actually build. Again, more details coming up because we need to have the conversation because in the detailed conversation I had in that vlog, it's like, um, it's almost like talking to little kids. You gotta repeat yourself a couple of times and they only hear what they wanna hear. <laughs> so for those of you on the fence and getting ready to order C8 and ordering with us especially, you need to watch that video coming up this week. And coming up tomorrow in real time, it's Sunday now, hopefully you're catching this vlog on Sunday. Uh, and even if you don't, I hope you enjoy what we're about to share with you. But tomorrow, September 9th, right here at our dealership, Coughlin Pataskala is our reveal of the 2020 mid-engine C8 Corvette right in our showroom where you could see it in person. And sometimes that makes the difference to see the car in person and actually sit in it. Yeah, you'll be able to sit in that car. And um, uh, I guess <laughs> I'll be filming that vlog. I'm sitting there. I don't want to spoil what I'm going to try and do. I don't even know if I can do it, but we're going to try and do it. And I uh, hope I can so we can share that with you later later in the week as well. So a lot going on in the business, in the office, on the YouTube channel. Hope I have time to put this all together and share it with you guys because as I've mentioned many times over, well, this channel is my main source of connecting and communicating with you guys. Well, you might want to check the pot and make sure it's full. You're going to need a couple of these for today's episode. We're going to talk about the collectibles in my office. You know how it is. Any year Corvette you have, you have that pride of ownership. Well, that's what I like to display in my office is my pride and representing Corvette to you folks. And I complain many times over that, hey, I need a bigger office. I mean, I do need a bigger office. I've got so much stuff that I love to display, so many great stories to tell from that memorabilia, but I am happy and thankful for what I do have here in the office, and that's what I want to show you today. Thanks for your request to say, Greg, show us the office. And I've got some stories to tell about some of these pieces because they're actually very unique, and some of them just really cool and very special to me. Real quick, anyone affected by Hurricane Dorian, you're trying to get your life back on track, you're trying to get electricity, dealing with flood damage, our thoughts and prayers are with you. I hope that you're getting the aid and the assistance you need to get your life back on track to get back to normal. 
All right, folks, I hope you enjoy the stories we have to tell and some of the cool memorabilia I'm about to share with you. So I don't even know where to start, so I figured I'd start right at, right at the door. You walk in. Yes, we've got the C6 Jake up there. That's fantastic. So as we come in, now if you've been to my office, a lot of you folks watch it on YouTube and they go, boy, your office looks so much bigger on the channel. It's really small. I know, guys, but you know what? I have an office. Okay, let's start on this back wall. Of course, I still have the camo suit in here, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing. Probably end up in a bin somewhere. Now, this case right here holds 108 1 64th scale size, all Corvettes in my particular office. A lot of people compliment on this case. I got this case for this office, especially for the smaller offices, because of the mirrored backing, and it gives it the illusion that it's actually bigger than what it is. I'd really like to have the, the wood frames with the light shining down and that kind of stuff, but that's all right. I'm just happy to display this, and believe me, everything that I own is nowhere near displayed in this office. And I've just about uh, occupied every nook and cranny. I've got a few spots left, if you'll see, but we're, we're filling it up fast. Let's zoom in on some of these up here. All right, check out the Detroit Tigers one. That's pretty cool. I love that. Love this gold classic one right here. My gosh. And where do I get these? I mean, when Toys R Us was open, I still go to Walmart, Target, all those places. Sometimes you just never know. You'd be at the grocery store, and you'll see stuff at the checkout line and pick up stuff. 07 pace car now this car actually came in a five pack a very limited edition some type of a cereal box type promotion if i remember correctly and my friend dennis in amherst ohio who has thousands and thousands of corvettes and one day we'll get him on the channel you guys will really enjoy it but he told me rick keep that box for years i had it displayed in the box finally i took just because everything else wasn't corvette in it, and i took that car out so i could display it here in the case and i just love it but yes that's one of the few that i did keep the box most of these i didn't keep the boxes you know people all keep the boxes man i got room for all that stuff you kidding me by the time these are worth anything i'll be dead and gone so i'm taking them out of the box and displaying them and having fun love the corvette race cars and look at this right here now that's a c7 what does that look like though guys yeah no camera light on that. That's That looks like Rapid Blue, man. <laughs> Wait till you see what I got coming up for you on the channel. I think I found some Rapid Blue pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for that. This one, I think, is more of a Christmas thing. But again, I took it out because of the shininess and put it in the case. You know, in doing this vlog, I just realized a couple of things. I have a duplicate in this case. There's a Tigers. There's a Tigers over there. There's a Corvette. I love my Corvette police cars, and I actually have them in this case over here, trying to keep them all together. So uh, after this vlog, this one's getting moved. But I love my Corvette police cars. And look at that, guys. Yeah. Classics. Gotta love the classics. I love my... This was a whole series. 63 split windows. There's a Christmas one. All these different colors. Oh, yes. I love the American theme one. Look at those. And how about that? The Coca-Cola Corvette. Just a neat little truck and a blue Corvette being towed. And that picture up there, very special to me. That is the stamp that was designed by Nolan Adams of the 53 Corvette, autographed and given to me by somebody that watches our website. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to remember everybody. So much in this office is from you guys, and it means so much to me. That's why I try and get it in here. This plaque, I've got all kinds of plaque, guys, and you don't need to hear how many cars I sold because it doesn't matter because when you get ready to buy something, you just want me to take care of you, be fair, keep you informed properly, and make the process as easy as possible. But this plaque was my very first plaque that I earned in 1997 for the top Corvette salesman, and uh, what a treat that was. I just bought the uh, camo coaster from Corvette Collection. Look at that little black Grand Sport there. That's pretty cool looking. And I found that at Cracker Barrel. And then, of course, there's the suit and uh, the Zora head. And thanks to Jim at Corvette Cleveland, I actually have a real piece of the camo C8 spy car. So I thought I'd put that in a little box frame. All right, here's another 108 cars. Not going to talk about all of them, but uh, there's some pretty cool ones in here, guys. There's another Coca-Cola car right there last c4 how about that and then here's some of my police cars now this matte finish one is really cool i've got the big version of that you may have seen on the vlog before with functioning lights show you that in just a minute there's the stingray concept before the c7 came to be just more cool corvette police cars across the way here guys now these two right here were some type of a lego set i remember buying at toys r us zr1s from c6 <laughs> this is pretty darn cool. Uh, here's another story on these three cars. I used to go to this toy show thing up at the Lucas County Rec Center in Toledo, and you would find stuff that you would never find in the stores, one of the reasons I went up there, and that you just kept buying all kinds of cool collectibles. Well, during the Chicago Auto Show, 
uh, I forget what year it was. It had to have been 2000, 2001. It, regardless, uh, it was a C5, but one of these cars, I forget now it's been so long, was given away at a special dinner. So it was really, truly limited edition, and there was others given to the public, and then the third one, I'm not sure how that came to be. But this guy had all three. And at the time, I paid $75 to get the set. But to this day, I've never seen these together. I've never seen any of them at any shows, online, eBay, what have you. So I'm glad that I, I got them at the time, you know what I mean? And here's another cool police car from that very show in Toledo. This guy took the C6 and actually painted it that theme, put the decal on the side. The only thing I haven't done yet is put a light bar on the top there to really, really make it look cool. More police cars there. How about that Scooby-Doo right there, guys? And this would have been cool when we did the thing back in the uh, early spring at Super Sport Pizza and Wings to have the real car, the pizza car there. And this is neat too. I'm actually gonna have, I think I'm gonna do a pop quiz on this. I've got some more football cars here, as you can see from back in the day. You know, I actually bought one of these acrylic cases that would fit just all the NFL Corvettes in it. I never ended up buying all the cars and actually have a pop quiz regarding that coming up sometime in the, in the future of the vlog. I think you guys are going to kick out of that. Here's another one of my favorites, a Monopoly car with an actual Monopoly piece in there. And of course, my 98 pace car. You got to love that thing. Love the pink Barbie car. Love the 96 Grand Sport. Now, all the cars are kind of facing that way, but this one's facing the other way because I had to show off the red hash marks. I love the NASCAR themed Corvettes. There's another one over there. And Gary that used to work with this guy, I never saw this. This is an older one, but Vet Van. Check that thing out, that's pretty cool. Now there's some fun ones in this case too. This one was part of a thing that came from Chevrolet when Chevrolet sponsored the Olympics. It had, I think a Silverado and a Tahoe in there, but I pulled out the Corvette. So I had that for my case. More Corvette racers down there. Love this one kind of has a, a matte foily finish. There's the Christmas car again. Look at those, I love those with the big engines coming out. That's pretty neat. How about this one? Wonder Woman, SpongeBob. I can't see from here who's on that. I think some kind of a rock star. And some of these cars actually have real rubber tires on them. I was part of a Premier Hot Wheels or Matchbox series. Finally, I took them out of their boxes, put them in this case because I just love to display them as much as I possibly can. Now, this one's kind of neat. Look at those green seats. Oh my gosh, crazy. A poker chip kind of fell over there. I think that was a Johnny Lightning series. Another truck with a Corvette racer in the back. Yes, I love my pace car. Beautiful print there. Vinny Cantori, you watch the channel. Thanks, man. Get your brother Jim from the Weather Channel send us this autographed picture. I really appreciate that. And yes, I've got, you me over here. Yes, guys, I've got the C8 coins. I have number 36 out of 250. Up there, a nice poster. And if you can see, I'm sorry, I'm leaning backwards. That picture up there is an actual concept drawing that was on the table of Team Corvette in discussion for the C5 Corvette. Carl Zipfel was the driver. This drawing was from 1993. He was a tall, lanky guy that used him when trying to carve out the interior. He ended up buying a car from me, he was mistreated, believe it or not, from some of the dealers in the Detroit area, found us in one of the magazines, because the internet wasn't a thing back then, and bought his 97 from us and gave me that and another one from the actual design team discussions. <laughs> that thing is really special to me, man. Of course, this, the launch of uh, C7, with all the autographs from a lot of guys up there, and I love this poster. We gave this out in Houston. One of the Corvette Expos of the Z06 and the C7R car. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. This is one of the original emblems that you can see in there. That 50th piece is made out of cardboard. One of the guys I knew was taking a car to crush it. He took these up, he's got the back emblem, I got the front, he took them off, it was all bent up, I put a bunch of bricks on it for weeks just to flatten it out and put it in this shadow box so I could display it. It's one of the original 50th anniversary emblems from 2003. Speaking of 2003, there's my boys, the car I was about to order until I found out that I had these two cats on the way, so I got a Suburban. But they have, you can't see it there, but they've got 50th anniversary sweatshirts on. Brandon's got a hat on. I said, well, at least got to sit in the darn thing. I didn't get a chance to buy it, but could you at least sit in the car? <laughs> so that's really, really special to me. I'm a huge space nut as well. So I had to get that in there. I actually have an autographed picture from one of the guys that just don't have that display in the office. And then Gary that worked here, also a big collector as I. 
and made, I don't know how he did it, but that's pretty cool, made that for me. Speaking of having something made for me, just yesterday, my buddy Steve from Hubbard, Ohio, how creative is this? How cool is this? Man, I had to get it on the wall, get it on the vlog. You see this, guys, where this is going? If you block off the bottom part of the eight, look at it, see? Look at that, Corvette, and then you block this part off, Conti, look at that. Corvette Conti to C8, dude, I love that thing. Thank you so much, and I love this. Mike was on the vlog. Uh, he gave us some great drone footage, and, and I showed you guys this when I got it. Finally got it on the wall. This will be behind me in a lot of future vlogs. This is really, really neat. It's done in this thick acrylic. It kind of stands off the wall a little bit, about that far, so it gives it some dimension. And this is all in 3D as well. My theme right there, stop dreaming and start driving. And we've got some footage we haven't shared yet of Mike and his daughter coming up on the vlog. Uh, Mike, this, this really means a lot. I'm so glad to have this here. And there's another Zora Coaster, 100th anniversary Corvette. Love that one back there. And just a couple neat little 124 scales here of a 63 split. Uh, I love the 2017 Collector's Edition. Another police car, love that darn thing. More awards, yeah, more awards, okay. This award was an appreciation award from the folks at Corvettes of Corsa. I just so proud of that and love that darn thing. I think when I get my lifetime, yes, I am a lifetime member of the National Corvette Museum, but I want to get that uh, shown right there. Yeah, so this, I think that's the coolest trophy right there on the planet for Corvette people. I love that. You got to love it. And this right here was given to me from Matt. I love this thing. Kind of a two-sided coin deal. Look at this. It's beautiful, man. Just neat. And then another customer and watcher over the channel flew this flag in the Middle East on this B-52H dozer. Thank you so much, sir. That really means a lot. Eugene, he bought a car from us, but also gave me this beautiful Mako Shark 118 scale heavy, heavy die cast. More die cast down here, guys. I'm trying to shove them anywhere I can. Aha, uh -huh, just got this one on the vlog. Told you guys I'd have it in here. And that one's cool back there. I really like that. Look at that racing theme. That's neat. Of course, the GT1 Championship Series. Now here's one of many Dale Earnhardt C5R Corvettes that I have. I actually have the Chrome version that went to only club members. Very, very limited. I ran into a guy that had a bunch of these displayed at an Autorama show in Cleveland. I asked him if he had it. I'll tell you that real quick as I just kind of walk around. And he was shocked that I knew about that car. He did have it, it was for sale. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna tell you, probably because my wife finds out she'll flip even to this day what I paid for that thing. But you know how it is when it gets in you guys. You just like, yeah. So I've got that car, but it's at home. I don't have it on display. Just didn't have room to have it on display. I've got another beautiful C7 full resin car that was given to me from Kirby, and I love that car. Very special to me. Wish I had some more room to display that too. Again, there's our car show T-shirt. Trying to. Trying to make it look like the Rapid Blue. I've got a few of those. I think I got four or five left. I give those away in a future vlog if you're interested, guys. If you are, uh, stay tuned. Make sure you're a subscriber, and we'll do that uh, as soon as possible. I got some other giveaways, as I mentioned the other day, to do very soon as well. Uh, back over here, yes, we have Rick on the stick still, and Mike at Indiana I made that C7 custom plate for me. This uh, little case right here is like a bank. It was given to me from Jim in Vegas, who's now moved over to Hawaii. That's full of money right now. If you need some change for the vending machine, I'll just come on in here and grab it right there. Uh, Southern Ohio Corvette Club gave me this mug for Christmas one year. I bought this at the museum. A couple of other cool, you know, more space stuff here, guys. Now, this is nothing big. I just thought it was cool, so I saved it, and I'm going to do with it. But this little pouch, see that? That's the C8 stuff. Here it is. Oh, I'm upside down. On the back, all the coins that were in that came in this. Thought that was pretty neat. And Gary in Ohio got me the St. Patrick's Day Corvette. That's pretty cool. I love those old racers, man. Is that neat? Elvis Presley, love that. That's uh, just a little necklace. It was kind of made from a picture of my daughter and I on the beach in Huntington Beach, California. More racers. Look at that. Just, man, that is cool. And another one that's given to me from Mark in Ohio. Oh, no, man. We're not done. We're going to go to this case right here. There's 40 cars in here. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this neat? Some of these are just regular cars. Some of them are actually Franklin Mint cars. Very, very special. Just run through these. And again, there's another police car. I actually have a bigger version of that that has the light bar on the top. I don't know where it is. Probably in a bit at home. Green Bay Packers, love that. Chicago Cubs. Not a Cubs fan, but it was Corvette, so I had to get it. 
Yeah, sorry guys. All right, this one was part of the 97 Corvette, the Brookfield collection. Kind of a bummer, the hood didn't open, doors didn't open, and every time I moved it, I busted the mirrors on the darn thing. That was a really cool see-through cutaway from Frank Lament. That was a Frank Lament model, I love that. Yes, the Cooksey car signed by Will himself. Love that car. That's why it's in the case, so you can't touch it. <laughs> and I just love the C7 convertible models. Ohio State guys fell over. Actually had to put him by the red car, blue Z06, yellow Z06, and another race car. Come back around here. More Frank Lament stuff. Yes, look at this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful car. Given to me by one of our customers. And if I remember correctly, it was Kirby because this was actually stolen from one of my older offices. You could no longer buy it from Frank Lament. And Kirby gave me that. Like, dude, unbelievable. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Never forget that. This was neat. Also came from Frank Lament. Instead of the die cast, this is all made out of fiberglass. That 63 split window. That was an expensive car, but it's a real special car for sure. And there's a smaller version of the Mako Shark. Another car given to me by a customer. This was also stolen out of one of my offices. Save that for another story and another vlog, but I love the 88 Collector's Edition. This is cool, the 82 car. If I had this out of the case, you actually squish it down and it has a working suspension on it. Oh my gosh, how could you not love that classic? Is that just gorgeous or what? Something real special on C5. Come back around, start at the bottom, and we'll go back up. More of the Brookfield collection. This was just something wild. I think I found at Walmart or something like that. Elaine at Corvette Cleveland gave me appropriately a Cleveland Indians Corvette. And there's a 124 scale of the 07 pace car. 05 Indy pace car, you guys know. If you don't, I'll tell you. I'm a huge Indy 500 pace car nut. I love this one. How could you not love that? Z06 C5. Still, you know, I still have a fondness for the C5 Z06s. And did we do this side yet? Oh yeah, we did, okay. And of course, my Zora book. I was real thankful, another award for being the top salesman in the state of Ohio. One particular year, got this, uh, got this little, what do you call it, a proclamation or some kind of a certificate from a senator here in Ohio, Jim Hughes, Mark Thomas, you set that up for me, I appreciate that. We used to do this sponsored running event here at the dealership, and I love the medallions that you got. Stingray 5K. I miss those days. That was pretty cool. Up top here, guys, old mugs. Look at that. Just and this was just given to me. We showed you that on the vlog from Tim. There's a Tigers. Jeez, that's how the lights in the way. Tigers Corvette. I've got so many 118th scales that I don't have room to display, so I rotate those out from time to time. But I love the gold 53. The gold C5, part of the 50th anniversary collection. Some more racers up there. Love that 54 down there. 53, I can't quite see up there. And the Corvette Barbies. I bought a couple of these. One's a yellow one when I was at a Corvette cruise in Solon, Ohio. And if you're a collector of Corvette stuff, you're like, well, wait a minute. They didn't make a white Barbie Corvette. I know that. Thank you to Pat in Ohio. She duplicated, this is what it came like from the factory, okay? And then she made, she loves white, and she made one for me, and I just, oh my gosh, put it in the box, it looks like, see, this is the only three that it came. The pink one is really, really hard to find, but Pat, thank you for that, that is really special, and I love that. Bobby, another guy, flew this, this flag on a drone, Middle East, and uh, all documented. I really appreciate that, guys. And just recently, I showed you this on Facebook and Instagram from our interview and meet and greet with Jim Merrow. So proud to have that in my office. That is awesome. And there is, sorry, I got light glare up there, guys, but that's our new C8 poster. And I've got tons of custom plates. That's just a couple right there. But the four-door vet was pretty neat. Norm here in Ohio, when I worked in Wisconsin, bought one of the Cooksey Edition cars from me. And his Trailblazer was matching in the same color and his plate on that vehicle was four-door vet, and I'm so proud that he gave me that one. And I love the vet nut and the vet forever. Oh yeah. Are you guys getting worn out yet? I'm having so much fun talking about this stuff. Thank you for taking the time to watch. So I share my passion and pride of representing Corvette with all this fun memorabilia. This was given to me from Kevin in Illinois. This was his dad's original 78 Jim Beam decanter and guys, Yes, look, it's still sealed. The original alcohol's still in there. <laughs> and this is going to come up on a Flashback Friday segment. Corvettes Down Under from Australia came here to visit us. 
I was so excited just to see them, but to get their hat and their pin. Thank you guys, I really appreciate that. Another little red racer. These, I love these things right here. These, they're a pullback and they go. Found, I was looking all over the place for these. Found these at Cracker Barrel. Of course, the little pop things that are out. Kids are into that stuff. And they have Prince by the little red Corvette. How about that one back there? Jeff Gordon, NASCAR, again in the Brookfield. Doors didn't open, hood didn't open, but really, really special. I've got the Dale Earnhardt one too that I kept at home after his passing. Uh, but I just love the, the racing theme on the Corvettes. And that's from Spring Mountain. Thank you to John in Ohio. And when I was at the museum one time, yeah, I flipped out 10 bucks for some real. <laughs> you guys ever seen this? Real sinkhole dirt. Why not? <laughs> I'm so glad I found a spot for this. Thank you again, Scott in Florida. Come down here, guys. There's tons of stuff, tons of stories in here. Where do we start? Here's one of my favorite Corvettes. 96 Grand Sport with the red interior. Now here's that Monopoly car again, but it's in the actual case that it came in with the Monopoly piece. That's pretty cool. More police car stuff. I love this, the Indy 500 with the 08 pace car, the 78 pace car. That was pretty cool. Of course, the 100th anniversary for Indy, I had to have that. And then down here, one of my favorite cars of all time, the 98 pace car, and I've got stuff in here. I mean, back there, guys, I've got an actual media pass with their badge from 98. Uh, a belt buckle, some, uh, some trailers there, little cars, pins. Yeah, a pin right there, that's really neat. Coins, and then of course, my buddy Dozer from his stint. Well, he's still in the military, but that was from his division over there in the Middle East with an actual firing pin. More 98 pace car stuff. I love the 98 pace car stuff, I really do. Corvette Cleveland little thing over there. But this is neat, guys. And this right here came from Bob McDormand, who was big supporter of Corvette all his life, his time with Chevrolet. That I'm a vet nut sat on his desk for almost 40 years. It was given to me from one of his family members, and uh, that meant a lot to me, and that'll always, always stay in my office. So thank you for that. And during Christmas time, this will come out the Christmas ornament for the 98 Pace Car. Got a little badge back there, a little, little patch. This is an actual ticket that is now faded from the race. And down here, more 96 Grand Sport stuff. And Corvette Cleveland sponsor, more cool coins. Mark Thomas designed that one for their arthritis show a couple of years ago. Beautiful job. More challenge coins that you guys have given me. Oh man, those mean so much, I love this. That was an actual, what do they call that? A treasure hunt car? Or no, 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 that, I don't think it was treasure hunt, I apologize. I think a lady took the uh, DuPont Chrome Illusion paint yeah, that's what it was. And she painted that herself. And I paid stupid money for that at one of those car shows. But you know, it's something that you're just not gonna find anywhere. Bowling Green Assembly Plant. Love you guys. Had a chance to go out to dinner with you a couple of years ago and bought one of those pins and really proud to have that in the case. And just recently we shared with you on the vlog the gentleman that works at the White House and got us these candies. I really appreciate that. More 96 Grand Sport hidden down in there. I just, I got stuff packed in here. And I love the C5R Racer. The red, white, and blue car from Le Mans. Oh my gosh. Another uh, Christmas ornament. Yes, Cincinnati Police Cup. I appreciate that, Randy. Thank you. Another award. Okay, another award. This is really cool. I love this pewter thing. Isn't that neat, guys? And yes, up here you'll see. Well, isn't that the same car? Yes, it is. But notice this one does not have if you can see i'm sorry that one does not have a windshield so that's kind of unique absolutely and more green bay packer stuff i was always a brett Favre fan still am but it was neat to get that there's more of that racer done in orange more 96 grand sport stuff transformer corvette these are neat gas monkey corvettes these were really hard when they first came out they were so hard to get especially the gold one that little uh, keychain I think I got at the museum. But then they came up with a blue one and I bought that in Los Angeles. I'm down on this shelf. Again, I wish I had more room to display these little cool race cars. Those are neat. I love those. And of course you gotta love the big ones. Those are the pullback racers, that's fun. And that license plate back there, custom made by one of my customers. I love this. You know, I found one of these. The Centennial Edition ZR1 diecast, 118 scale. Found only one. I think I got this at Toys R Us. Never saw another one. I'm so glad that I got this thing. Of course, you gotta have the 50th anniversary. And if you missed it, I'll put a story time link down below in the description here on the YouTube channel. 
talk about other things, but told the story and why I have this UPS die-cast truck in my office from Harry in New York. I promise you, I'd always keep it in here, even to this day, since 2004 or five, I think it was. Yes, sir, it's still here. And way back there, yeah, the light's kind of glaring. Let's see if I can get in there a little bit for you guys. These are micro machines. I've got like four different versions of these. Those are really cool too, but again, they're kind of tucked away. I got more stuff kind of tucked down in through here, guys. Steve. You sent me that, got that in here. Again, another ZR1. I just wasn't able to find any of this stuff out and about. I was excited to get the mini version of the big Jetstream Blue ZR1 and the chrome wheels. Oh my gosh, that is really, really cool. And this one kind of doesn't really get, I love the race car stuff as I told you. Look at that Fast and Furious car. That's pretty neat. And thanks to my buddies in New York, Robin and his son got me Paula's Donuts and this cool pinball machine. I really appreciate that. And how about that? Yes, another viewer on the channel. Got me the Corvette Freak. I love the Corvette Freak hat. I gotta get some of those made. As you can see, I have no wall space, but down here, this beautiful plaque to commemorate the time I was mentioned in Auto Week magazine, as well as Wall Street Journal. And there's my session for the C7 at the Spring Mountain Ron Fellow School. You guys are so awesome to me. I really appreciate that. Another thoughtful viewer sent this to me when I was sick in and out of the hospital. And this really brightened my day. I love this darn thing. I really do. These more of the stuff that I got, the Grand Sports I got at Cracker Barrel. Aren't those cool? And this frame needs to be updated. Another couple hundred plus people need to be added, but it's nice to have it rotate. Instead of having the big photo albums in my office, this just rotates and plays different pictures of the folks that have picked up cars from us. We've shipped you cars. You sent pictures of yourselves to us. And sometimes some events will show up on here as well. But it's a nice thing to just kind of pass the time as folks are waiting for paperwork and stuff like that to be done. And here's another little cool Motor Trend car. This I love too. Gary got me this. Look, at, I love that with the... Can you see that? I'm sorry, I'm going to glare here, guys. The surfboard in the back of that car, that's pretty cool. Love the red, white, and blue theme on that car. There's the Barbie C7 convertible in pink. That's cool. More classic race cars. Love the Shark Week car. Oh my gosh, I forgot where I got that. Didn't one of you guys get that for me? That's neat. And Travis in Georgia, again, one of the few non-Corvettes in here, but race related. I love that thing. I told you, Travis, I'd keep that here. Thanks, man, appreciate that. And there's just a couple of more down here. Another Corvette race trailer. Green Corvette and an ugly Corvette. Yeah, I have to display that. And there's some unique ones right there. Is that from Kentucky? I don't have my glasses. I can't read where those are from, but uh, it's neat. And there's more from the outside. You can see these are more baseball themed Corvettes from the 70s. And this just recently, well, yeah, oh yeah, got a fridge now. Absolutely. Anything in here? Yeah, some tea, grapefruit, apple, water. But Ben in Texas, dude. Really appreciate your business, support, referrals, and then sends me this kick-ass, this smoking hot ZTK ZR1. Look at that. And appropriately, I had to put the Texas plate for my friend Mike, also in Houston. He supported this, I think, on his 2012 Supersonic Blue Grand Sport. Gotta, gotta get it, gotta vet. All right, that's what that's all about. <laughs> More Lego stuff. Another little case that's neat to display. Some classic specific cars here. Love this, look at that 67 in there. My son Ryan put that together. I had zero patience to put that thing. It took him an hour and a half or two hours to put that thing together. More challenge coins. Thank you so much, Mike. And this, I love this. Jim Perkins signed this, Rick Hendricks, and Jeff Gordon. I flew to the museum from Wisconsin just for that meet and greet. And part of what you paid for, you got this die cast. If you were there, you know what I mean. And there's one of the Christmas ornaments that'll go on the tree. And this was signed by Jim Jeffords back there. Look at that cool little crazy monster truck looking Corvette thing. Another police Corvette. Yeah, and another police Corvette. How about that? More challenge coins. William just got us that. That's from the Ocean City, Maryland show a couple of years ago I was at. More bash stuff in there. Yes, look at that pace car. Love that thing. Some really neat stuff in here, guys. There's some more. It's going to be hard to show you everything. More challenge coins, more Corvette race stuff. All right, Corvette racers, you know what that's all about, Red 10, yeah. In memory, one of our great Corvette customers here in Columbus. There's more of the Ocean City, Maryland crews. I love that patch back there. Uh, this little green key thing actually plugs into your computer and it was a media thing I got at one of the media events. It has all kinds of pictures and data on the Corvette. 50th anniversary stuff, oh yeah, buddy. 
love the 50th anniversary. Thank you, Nicole, for that baseball. And of course, we have the 53 and the C7 there. It's a Corvette convertible. I love that guitar thing for the 50th anniversary celebration. That was cool. That little pin is pretty neat. A couple of more cool coins and cars and pins and trucks, Christmas ornament, 2005 pace car, love that thing. More classic little cars, I love the Corvette race trailer. And up here, more fun stuff, just memorabilia to show off that pride and passion for Corvette. Oh yes, I love that race car, love that thing, man. A couple more up here, Ron Fellows, gotta have that. More pins, just I got pins all over the place, man, it's cool. And more pace car stuff up there. And then that picture, I'm gonna drop the camera, that picture all the way up there from Mark right here in Ohio. I love that, finally got that displayed. I don't know if I showed this on today's vlog, but this was also sent to us from a viewer. I love this thing, all the generations of Corvette. But as you saw, pretty much out of wall space. Another thing I have, I didn't show you on the vlog, that's not in here because there's no wall space. I really do need a bigger office, man. But thankful for what I have, but this picture was from 2006, the launch of the C6 Z06. It was autographed by Bob Bondurant. Only a hundred of these were made. Tom in New York got that for me. I called him and said, hey, they got this memorabilia piece. It's, it's your car on there, man. You gotta get this thing. He goes, that's great. It, they were very expensive. Calls me up, he goes, hey, that's fantastic. Thanks, man, I got one ordered. I got one coming for you too. I go, those things are what, like $600? Are you nuts? Sure enough, UPS, ding, 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 showed up at the house. I had it in the office for years. Right now, it's not in here. And from time to time, I'll rotate some stuff out. I even have this really nice race mural picture I bought from Mid-America. And I've got this long, oh, I forgot, I got this really long panoramic shot. I think it's from 1996 from the Black Hills Corvette Classic. Seven, 800 Corvettes. That's a, co that's a cool picture. I gotta find, but I would love to be able to display that. It always generates a lot of conversation. And that's what's cool. When you come in here and see all this stuff that I showed you today on the vlog, it sparks a memory. It sparks a conversation. Hey, my buddy had one of those. My uncle had that. My grandpa had that. I used to have that. And it's neat how we just have a great conversation about a car that we both love. And that's why I love having these in here. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. This was by your request. Got to show you some of the behind the scenes stuff in my office. Yes, it's a smaller office than I need, but you know what? I still can display a ton. See all the stuff I got in this thing? <laughs> I love it. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're going to have some serious conversations on C8 Corvette ordering coming this week. The debut of that car at our dealership is on Monday, September 9th. We do a lot of vlogging, a lot of interviewing, getting some real reactions from you guys now that the car's out. This is not going to be taken to the streets thing like we did in downtown Columbus and people weren't quite sure what was coming with mid-engine. It's here now. When you see it, sit in it. I want to know what you think. We're going to capture that and share it on a future vlog right here. Oh, and one more quick reminder. If you'd like your ride, whatever it is, featured at the end of our Tuesday vlog, part of your beautiful ride segment right here on the channel, email me a picture of your ride email address is up on the screen and if you'd like to intro that segment well text me a video intro just say your name where you're from say hey i'm rick from ohio let's check out some of your beautiful rides bam something like that i love hearing you guys sharing your rides i love hearing from you make sure you make comments down below on this particular vlog thanks again for the suggestion thanks for taking the time to watch I look forward to seeing you guys soon have a great day